I'm Krista. And I'm Whitney. We're cousins. We look nothing alike. No, we do not. But we have a lot of fun together, and that's all that matters. We do, as you can <laughs> tell. So, today we have so many special treats for you. Treats, trick or treat. We're going to be making one thing today. It's all good. We have so much going on today. If you like to drink uh, adult beverages, we have an option for you, and if you don't, we're gonna make an option for you as well because I don't have like a lot of viewers who don't want that and that's cool. We've got some scary and spooky delicious cocktails for you guys. This is our bartender. What's his name? Stiff. <laughs> well this is Dracula's pub so maybe this is Dracula's cousin. How about Drac? Drake. 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 This is Drake. Hashtag Drake. Alright, I like it. His name is Drake the bartender. He's super friendly once you, you know. <laughs> He's very good looking after a few drinks. We love him. He always treats us good. We're his patrons of the dark. <laughs> patrons of the dark night. So what are the drinks that we have? Today? So we are making a special Halloween treat. It's a kind of a, a makeup of a cotton candy margarita. Mm. But we're gonna Halloweenize it. Alright, let's Halloweenize it. Halloweenize it. So we have a special guest. I'm so excited for this next guest. So uh, before our special guest comes on the show, we're gonna do some magic. All right, I moved. I made some room for our special guest. Magical woman. Uh, our special guest should be flying in. Special guest, where are you? <laughs> hey, oh my God. How What's up guys? How are you? Hey, I got you? there. I got an apple, awesome. a Portland apple. Oh, good. Picked from the local farm, organic. <laughs> I love it! By the way, this video is going to be a lot of laughs because Josh is just so funny. So this is our cousin Josh! Our cousin this Josh, is Josh, by the way. What are you guys making? So, <laughs> we're going to be making cotton candy margaritas. Would you like one? Sure. Alright. So I have half of this recipe that I found online and then half of it that I mocked up myself. So it can be um, friendly for alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So, so for these drinks, um, we are going to serve them in this awesome plastic little cauldron, and she got them where you said? Um, Walmart. Walmart. I think they're a dollar or a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, got and they're ton. so cute, and you can reuse them. Also, during our Halloween party that we have, this is why we have so many decorations up. I use dry ice. I didn't get any today because you have to pre-order it, and you can get like a twenty-five pound serving at a time. So I'm just not going to do it until the party, but I will be posting pictures of it. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. So usually they'll be smoking, but they're not going to. So cool! It looks like an actual cauldron, like witch's potion brew. So cool! Awesome. You guys like my pet bird? <laughs> he, he died a while ago, but I like to keep him around. It's a little stiff. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We still get along. I love him. I love him. <laughs> Josh has a lot to say. So if you ever, if you, if ever you have something to say, Josh, just say it. Say it. Just pull it out. Say what oh, you yeah. need to say. <laughs> So the ingredients that are in these margaritas are cream soda, mm. lime juice, cotton candy. That's the best part. That's the best part. My favorite part. Patron Silver, this is the one I usually go with. If, you, if you're going to do a tequila, you have to do it right. Or anything above that, I guess you could say. You don't want to do cheap tequila because that's how you get messy. And if you're not doing tequila, you can do ginger ale to just dilute it a little so that it's not super sweet because that's what it kind of does. And I'm trying out a new recipe because I don't usually do energy drinks, but because I found this bang cotton candy <laughs> flavor, we're going to give it just a little bit in there because it's cotton candy flavor. The first thing that we'll be doing is taking our cauldron and dipping it in a salt rim. You can do sugar rim. I'm salty. It's a margarita, so it's a margarita. Salt. Mm -hmm. I really don't know how other people do salt rims, but I take honey just because it's delicious and just kind of like rub a little bit on the edge. And this great, it, this drink is great if you're on a low carb diet. Is it? Is it though, Josh? <laughs> is it? Let's see how many carbs are in this. <laughs> what? What? How I many? can't even find them on there. How many carbs are in the bang? <laughs> Let's see. There are see. zero carbohydrates in Where this. Where do you thing. find it? Right here on the label, written in English. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right here. Written so, between I'll the Patron go. and the Bang, you still have <laughs> zero carbon. You loud enough. Oh. <laughs> between the tequila and the Bang, 
you have a very low carb drink for Halloween. So here's your salt rim. So I'm not going to use a shaker because I've used a shaker before with carbonated soda and it does not work. You can't be shaking it and then you take the top off and you get like exploded. So we're just going to use a straw to mix it together. So we have our salted rims happening now mm -hmm. and I just added ice to all the cauldrons and usually what the hell? <laughs> Look at the window. What? So man. What? Your dad? Oh my god. Is it going by so slow? I don't know. All right, so anyway, there's a man fishing. Can you imagine if he sees <laughs> if he sees this? He's going to be like, what the <laughs> hell? Would you say like fall? <laughs> we have our rims salted. We have ice in the cauldrons. So the next step is going to be the tequila. I always like to put the alcohol first to you. Yeah. Sure, why not? That way you can see like, how much you want to make sure you have yeah, exactly. So, we're going to do Two of these with Patron, and we're gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do a non alcoholic one. So, and I am, I'm going to. Do you have enough Patron for you and Krista? I don't, I mean. <laughs> so, usually you do a full shot, I'm eyeballing things today. We can always call Krista an Uber. <laughs> no, an Uber. I'll just fly her home on my broomstick. Oh, that's right. Exactly. So, um, after the Patron, I think what I'm gonna do is the cream soda. Oh, ginger ale. So instead of Patron, I'm gonna do one virgin. This <laughs> looks like he's floating. Like a he ghost. is. He's like a. He's like a ghost. Taking up the whole frame. <laughs> the whole window frame. <laughs> he oh, is. Oh my god. Boy, that guy like, does not make a good window. Out here trying to get one last fishing day with his pedal boat. <laughs> bubble, bubble, toil just and trouble. Tequila. So next is gonna be cream soda. I have a little opener here. I'm gonna try to use it. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I need to measure this out to be honest with you. But then tablespoon measures. Ounces. So probably two ounces, like two shots of the cream soda. You want like a little bit more. One, two, one, two. And one. And one. Two. Oh my god. Did that was that more? I don't know. No. Okay. After that, we're gonna add half ounce of lime juice or less. I would say like a teaspoon. Whatever you think. Like a, oh, is it just smells, like a, it, it makes the cream soda mix with the lime juice that cotton candy flavor. That's, what do you call this drink? so interesting. This is a cotton candy margarita. One cotton one. candy margarita. Mix it up a little. Swirl it. Swirl because it. The next thing we're going to do is add the bang. It smells really good. One, two, one. Our orange straws. Is there anything that I forgot to put in here? No. Okay. Just the cotton candy. Okay. Your straw. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, here's your straw, and we're gonna put a cotton candy garnish on top. I can't for that. I love cotton candy. <laughs> um, I get these cotton candy containers at Walmart for one dollar, and they're great because there's a, a lid on them. Get those rollback prices. So good. <laughs> and we're just gonna give you each a nice chunk. It, it dissolves oh quickly <gasps> in there. This is what oh I do. Well, I get like six of these. So when I feel I get like the there's a chemical candy. reaction going on. Wow, and it's gone. And, and it's, it's gone. gone. And them up and try them. Bubble, bubble, Doyle toil and trouble. and trouble. Oh, it's a toil, not a doil. Toil. Doyle. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Bubble, toil bubble. and trouble, yeah. Cheers, witches. Cheers, witches. Cheers, and witches. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! So oh my god. Good. Wow. That's so good. So good. It's very sweet. I feel like if you just don't like salt it is very I mean, sweet. if you don't like sugar drink out of it so that you get the salt. just leaves you wanting more but it's so cotton mm -hmm. candy -y. very mm. dangerous drink can i try yours yeah it's delicious oh please drink responsibly i can't wait yes yeah. drink responsibly people oh yeah and that's, please eat beforehand that's actually delicious too so like i said the patron is really good but the one with the ginger ale is really good too so if you're a kid or you just don't want to drink or you whatever Try that one. If you like cotton candy and you want to sip on it, mm. it's super Halloween because I feel like cotton candy is like the biggest candy. Ever. Oh, cotton candy is one of my favorite candy. Oh, and by the way, candy corn's good. Shut up. <laughs> Who doesn't like candy corn? <laughs> the rule of thumb is to throw the candy corn away and eat a Reese's Pieces. <laughs> I well, I like Reese's too, but why can't you? Reese's like peanut butter cups are the best. <laughs> it's kind of like the pineapple on the pizza thing. I'll take that. You I either like, like it or you don't. Mm. I like it. 
I like it. And I'm excited because last year I was making so many of these drinks at my party that I never had one. You didn't have one? <laughs> and I was like, these good? And people are like, they're so good. And I think that uh, Drake wants some. Oh, you want to try that drink, Drake? Yeah, really Once good. you pop the top, the fun don't stop. That's how it works. Also, if you were wondering, um, some of my helpers here and I, I call them my helpers because they helped me decorate and they did such a good job. Shout out to Kayla and Elena too for helping me. But uh, we do this party every year and every year it gets like funner and funner because I kind of learn more about decorating. I made him, I put a floating head with a foam, he's a mask with a foam head and he's floating with a fishing line on my ceiling and there is a wrapping paper tube to make this, his body. Yeah. I feel so, like if you left him up year round, it would keep the, the animals away. What's your favorite Halloween candy? My favorite Halloween candy? Probably a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Okay. What's your favorite Halloween Sour candy? Sour gummies. Those mm, the gummy worms. Are those Halloween candies? Yeah. Oh, because they're sour. I can't wait for that cauldron. We have a huge, our friend Kayla has this big cauldron. Full of candy. Filled with candy, and that's gonna be my spot. That's yeah, where we're gonna party. stand for the rest of the night. What we can do too is take little pictures or videos of the sections of the. the oh yeah, we'll show party. you guys so that you can see kind of what we do. If you guys want to see, it's it's easy to do a Halloween party. You need a lot of decorations, but the good news is you can get them at the dollar store and they're cheap. And they like like more than half of these decorations are from the dollar store, right? More than half of them are from the dollar store, and then some woman yeah. gave me. Yeah. Don't forget she Amazon. Was so nice. And I probably Amazon Prime a few things. I do <laughs> blood bags too. Mm. Then I fill with vodka, cranberry juice, and grenadine, and that is a hit. Everyone walks around with a blood bag and they just drink out Which of it. Which reminds me, we are looking for donors. So. <laughs> Gosh. So, what are you being for Halloween? Are you? Um, for it's a total secret. Oh my god. Can't tell anybody. Yeah, I can't tell mine either. Well, I don't have one to tell yet, so I need to figure that out. <laughs> We want to know what you're going to be for Halloween. Halloween costume is the highest secret of the land for the whole year. You work on your Halloween costume the whole year until you reach the... Right. And I'm all about homemade costumes. I like yeah. when like, you get a couple pieces of material, you cut them, you make your own things, add beads, add sparkle. Maybe you buy a wig because you can't really make one. Right. So I think yeah. we're going to go and sit and get comfy and just have like a little chat session about Halloween. I love it. Yeah? All right, yeah, guys. Sounds good. Ready? Ready? Yep, let's go. <laughs> so, welcome to our other Halloween room. I think it's safe to say that I really like Halloween. I really like all holidays, actually, because <laughs> I just think that... I just wish you could dress up like this for all holidays. You can. You can. <laughs> I feel like you have. Well... <laughs> <laughs> You used to have a Halloween party at your house. Mm -hmm. Those were fun. Yes, they were. Just wait until I get a house. Oh boy. You know how competition. Oh, then you're gonna. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't think it. that you can have the Halloween party the same week. Week right? that I have mine. We'll have it the Friday after. That's. I mean, I'd, I'd be down to go to two Halloween parties. You guys do the Halloween under the Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> have you guys met? Um, Wary. I thought his name it's was Harry. Name. <laughs> don't pull, don't pull. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm like Velcro. So you're not allowed to wear that. I just stick that. to everything. You're not allowed to wear that. So let's <laughs> let's ask each of some questions. All right. Um, let's see. Never have I never. Thinking back, like um, your childhood years. <laughs> oh, I'm trying try not to. What was? <laughs> <laughs> what was one of your favorite costumes? Hmm. Or we should do. Uh, my favorite costume is when my grandmother dressed me up as a pumpkin. Oh, hey, I was gonna say I was a pumpkin, and I loved that costume. It was so comfy. And I think fluffy. I my favorite Halloween costume was when I was Winnie from Hocus Pocus. Uh, me, you were Winnie. I was. You were. Remember, remember I don't remember that. that. I was Winnie. I don't remember that. I and don't. I don't remember. I had Mary. Like, what about your least Mary? favorite Halloween costume? Oh, okay. I got it. I had two. My mom did a great job dressing me, but it was so uncomfortable. One year, I was the cat in the hat, and the hat she had body pinned to my head, and it was so itchy, and it kept falling off, and I remember being like, it's falling off. My dad was like, I don't know how to put this on, and I just carried it. Oh, it, it looked good, though, in the picture, and then the snowman. You the oh snowman! My God. It was so itchy and, like, uncomfortable, so I... My it was when... I begged my parents for a Halloween costume, 
and my dad gave me a sheet and cut out the eyes and said, there's, you can be a ghost. <laughs> Mine was when I was borderline not of age to go trick or treat anymore and I wanted to go because I didn't want to like face oh, yeah. facts. I think I was like 15, 16. I know. And I was a trashy girl. I wore a wicked short plaid skirt, <laughs> high boots. <laughs> like I don't even know who I, I went remember. with. I remember. But that was horrible. Oh, horrible. That was horrible. Horrible. <laughs> I have pictures of that. Ah, I see what too. you did there. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I love that you still have the bird on your shoulder. Frank? Of and course. You still can't cut. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's okay. I think I've been to way more haunted places than both of you. The Rev. Been there, done that. The haunted Josh, asylum. you made me cry. The Westboro State Hospital. Ooh. I don't remember. I don't. Oh, oh my people tell, tell me all about that. They are going to tear it down. That's how haunted it is. Hmm. How about. There's the gar the, um, the mansion and gardener. How about the Ashby State Forest? That's haunted. There's Ashby the St. Bernard Forest. Cemetery. Oh, some bad stuff had happened. Oh, there. so many bad the things. The St. Bernard Cemetery. That's pretty creepy. At some, I feel some like every cemetery is probably haunted. Right? <laughs> um, uh, Princeton. Watch who's a mountain. Is Watch haunted. Who's a mountain. Lucy Keys. Fitchburg. It's a pretty creepy place. I don't know. That's not nice. I live there. I can talk. Cool. Fitchburg the city cool. of potholes. It is, it is the city of potholes. I do. This is but <laughs> I was like. <laughs> What's your favorite fall food? You have fall her blog. Her food, food blog. blog. I feel like everything she posts makes me hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to eat that Delicious. much, but I'm hungry. Favorite fall food? Tomato soup and grilled cheese? Mm, that's what we're making dinner. That's what Woody's making us for yeah, dinner. Yeah, and I'm so excited about it because it's going to be mm. delicious. <laughs> I would have to say some type of apples. And well, apple he used crisp. to just come over to my house and eat raw onions as an apple, and I don't. That's interesting. Oh, well, I'm not that person anymore. I'm like 20 years older now. So you don't eat onions anymore? Not like that. <laughs> was, <laughs> right? it, was it good though? The, the like white that? one, the sweet one's not as bad. What is your favorite thing to do on Halloween? On Halloween? Mm hmm. <sighs> Watch Hocus, Hocus Pocus. Oh, with candy. Watch Hocus Pocus, eat candy. And eat candy. Lots of it. OD on it. Because we can't trick or treat, so just buy candy and eat it. Mm -hmm. Right. I like taking like a long walk at night. So creepy. I like Halloween at night because there's so many people out and you're almost like not afraid. Remember when I walked home from your house it was like I like being scared though. You hate scary movies. I anything, hate being but scared. But I like to be scared. The scariest thing I've ever done is walk home from Chris's house at oh. one o'clock in the morning and there's no lights on that road. And I was just praying that a car wasn't going to hit me. <laughs> oh, my God. A scary walk, like, feel like a graveyard. Having respect for the dead. But just, like, walking and, like, I don't know. It was, like, I like that feeling like you're being Halloween. watched and the wind's blowing through the trees. Yeah, like you're in actual... I already like, have to pee thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I love Halloween. I love, it. I love, I love magic love about it. horror movies, like, scary mm -hmm. movies. I love a good scary movie that actually scares you. Just turn on the fog machine, get your house a little See, foggy, I and like put on a scary movie. I like the colors and the fun decorations and the drinks and the party and the costumes but i don't want to be like terrified Scared. i don't want to actually have fear i like don't no, mind yeah, like no. when josh got here you. he like popped out and i thought it was funny that's okay but i got him back twice oh my god <laughs> we're, we're, we're even oh yeah i still haven't gotten back yet but that's okay i'm not into i got him back for where when me and krista watched a scary movie and then she said oh i have to use the bathroom and then like 10 minutes later, I'm watching the scary movie by myself, the fog machine's on, I'm like, where the hell is Krista? So I'm like, Krista, and then she pops up from behind the you kitchen a, table. When did you put a fog machine on? When, oh, my oh, old apartment. Years ago, I remember when oh. he had the... I used to turn the fog machine on when Krista would come over, so the whole apartment would be uh, foggy when we watched the movie. We'll you could barely see the movie. machine on the home, for sure. Mm -hmm. I just love scaring people. It's messed up, That's what she but does. I love it. I love it. It's so funny to see reactions. <laughs> Whenever we would watch the movie, I, half of the movie I was just busy like thinking in my head, how can I scare him next? <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you for joining us on how to make this cool special Halloween drink. Delicious, Whitney. Thank you.
Thank you. Yeah, delicious. Good job. It was great spending time with you guys. I so it was so awesome fun. to see you, Josh. We miss you. Or you'll yeah. have if you guys love Josh as much as we do, which you will. If you guys, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just gave her the dirt. He was like, "Look, look shut the <laughs> fuck up." I don't mean her. Sorry, I didn't mean about any harm. Um, we want to have Josh back in our videos, so you'll probably see him again. If you guys enjoy Josh in our videos, let us know and he may return. And, and if you uh, don't like him, <laughs> you. <laughs> Sounds risque. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you make this drink, let us know how you like it. And if you make it, enjoy. Drink responsibly. And uh, Don't touch the dry ice with your bare hands. Oh, oh. You live, you learn. Yeah, you live, you learn. <laughs> you guys ready to go? Don't worry God, about just her. Like, I want my f***ing soup and grilled cheese, damn it. <laughs> Don't worry about her, she's had some sugar. No, I always laugh in every video. Um, <laughs> there's some bang in here. You get a little bang for your buck. Bang! Ah! <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'm Krista. I'm Josh. I'm Whitney. We're cousins, we look nothing alike. We're cousins, we look a lot alike. We do. <laughs> oh, there it goes. That's <laughs> Sorry. Are you guys ready to go? For any Halloween parties you're going to be attending. <laughs> you naughty boy. <laughs> Crawling? Hey! No, what's no. going up? I want you to do it maybe every time. I'm going to be peeing my pants <laughs> editing this. And that's all, folks. <laughs> that's all. Well, we'd like to thank you guys for coming out. Say that one. On this fall day. Oh, one, more time. one more time. <laughs> They're at home while watching it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We'd like to thank you guys for coming out. On Wait, this... <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> that's it's, a big deal. It's taking videos, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. We'd like to thank you guys for coming out and joining us. Josh, and stop saying coming. They're coming out. They're not coming out to us. If they want to, we'll be well, watching us. They're joining us. Joining us. Yeah. Joining thank you us. for joining us. Okay, wait, I was talking. <laughs> oh, okay. And go. go. Coming to you. Oh, he fell. He's like eating Josh's. <laughs> Take two. Look. Good job on oh that. He's like going to town. He just can't. That's a great rim job. <laughs> Brought to you by. Okay, okay. Oh, there you go. And one sip. He's like just. <laughs> What's with Buck? Okay, that? he's drunk. What's he doing? He's sitting on it. <gasps> no. That's what, his, that's what he does. Is that like his comfort? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's so cute. That's what he does at night. Just fall asleep. Then he tells me it's bedtime oh. by grabbing that and bringing it up to our room. Does Mason do that? He's like, he has his few favorite toys. Oh my god, that's so. Epic. He's sad because my dad left, so he. Oh. Oh, you just. Oh, I can't. Okay, so we'd like to thank you guys for joining us on this hot, fateful Halloween day, <laughs> and we hope to see you at Whitney's party. No, no. we don't. <laughs> <laughs>